welcome back. So, this is a Friday night inside the SR in the morning because I'm trying to record some stuff before tomorrow because, well, I'll explain that on the way to see Delphine. But I wanted to show you around the house first before I went anywhere. So, as you can see, I've furnished out the main entry hall and I've got rid of the workbench because there's nothing left to make. Denver, I need to get through here. Then, upstairs. Bedrooms are all filled out. Everything you can possibly make is made. Same for the kitchen. Everything you can make has been made. I've got all this food and alchemy ingredients just lying about I can use. To my heart's content. Barbers. Then we've got the storage room. All made out now. <coughs> so I got a lot of storage here. A lot and a lot of storage. I got lots of options where to put things and you know. Yeah. You know, like here's my crafting stuff. I have a few dwarven metal ingots, as well as a few dragon bones and scales. And then we go down and I've got lots of iron, lots of leather. For some reason I've got an abundance of fucking nails and lots of pelts. I've actually got quite a bit of steel as well. Why have I got my left tusk in there? This must be in the little there, yeah, whatever. Yeah, so I've been also training up my skills. Well, I can't remember where exactly I was last time, but I now got nine skills, one hundred. Illusion, conjuration, restoration, alteration, block, two-handed, one-handed, archery, light armor. Now my sneak is steadily rose up, so I've got assassin's blade now. But most importantly, I've had to put perks into enchanting because I need the armor sets to reduce spell cost to get destruction going. Anyway, I was in Riverwood. Start from here was not that big a deal. So I've not really went far. I went from Riverwood to here. I'm not really changing much. Apart from the fact I can get my Guardian Mammoth now. So one of these arrows is a Guardian Mammoth. Given the fact that one's moving the most, that's probably my Guardian Mammoth. Yes. So this is the, ma the Mammoth's graveyard that I... Oh, fuck, I can't remember the episode I showed you in. It's down here, I will defeat the Guardian Mammoth and be on our way. So, anyway, as, as I was saying, the reason for recording early is... Uh, my car got smashed in last night and I need to... I can't go to the shops normally tomorrow, so I need to go multiple trips by foot bags. Hello. <laughs> Right, that's him dealt with. There's a few of big issues to start with. Yeah, so my car got windscreen got panned in. I don't have a, I can't drive my car because I don't have a windscreen. If you look at my Twitter feed you'll see the picture of my car's windy just panned. Anyway. So to order to get myself tied down to shops and back tomorrow, I'm just doing a bit of recording tonight. So we're on our way to just Lunar Forge there, I haven't been before but I don't want to stop just now, I want to get straight to Sky Haven Temple. Oh, hello! <laughs> Rakela! Shush! Be quiet, dog. Oh yeah, did I make that uh, number? What's number two now? I removed my bow, so I don't have a number two. In fact, I've removed just about every fucking weapon I've got. So 
Oh, Roy's in Grand Theft Auto 5. Yeah, they were going to do. Uh, the Monkey Show were going to do Grand Theft Auto 5 tonight. And, uh, I wanted to join them, but, you know, I get this shit done. You know, play the fucking arseholes in the streets. Some little dickwad, high, he's off his fucking nut, and either drugs, alcohol, probably both. Always be home and he says, oh, fuck that shit, I want to hit this car, I see. What have you got for me? So the lady in the lake's given me <coughs> this dwarven sword. And I just kicked her fucking foot the shit out of here. Yeah, we are heading Ignore those dead mammoths. I have nothing to do with those dead mammoths. You did not see dead mammoths. Yeah, I I, I totally didn't come from your training my weapon skills. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Some random bandit must have killed those mammoths. That, that's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> I am so good at acting all the time. I also need to get another fucking 60 stones of Baron's Eye at some point. Uh, anyway, so, oh yeah, why I'm going to Skyhaven. Cloud Ruler Temple. Skyhaven? Cloud Ruler Temple, Skyhaven Temple. Oh fuck, the blades have got so many fucking sky related fucking temples. Anyway, the reason we're going there is because I want to get rid of Stenvar. And the reason I have Stenvar in the first place is so I can recruit with the blades. I just wanted free heavy armor people to recruit with the blades. So that's why Stenvar's got nothing just now. He's just got his basic steel armor and his steel great sword. Because I'm about to fucking, you know, just. When I was a child. I dreamed about having a fort like this all to myself. Well, you're about to share a fort like this with the blades. Uh, anyway, that's the only reason I have a companion right now is so I can take with the blades. Oh look, there's a man who survived my kilophon. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll come back. Well, all I need to do is raise up the structure now, so it's no big deal. What's it going to do? Stem bar. I'll get a suit of heavy armor with restoration and destruction reduction on it, and just go ham. Raising up the destruction skill, just just smacking people over and over and over with it. And in case you're wondering, uh, menu alteration. I have every alteration spell I can get. Illusion, same there. Conjuration, every fucking spell I can get. At this point, uh, in restoration, every spell I can get up to this point. Um, I couldn't use Turn on Dead to power level my restoration, so I had to do the slow way, which is healing. And to heal, the amount of experience you get is based upon how much you heal, which sucks monkey balls greatly. So, yeah, what I did was I went up to High Horofkar. And I stood in the storm wall that blocks your path to Parfinax. And as I took damage from that, I just kept healing myself. So I just gained experience from standing there, healing myself over and over and over. Although I didn't have 100% reduction on the spell cost, I had managed to get up to 68% reduction on my spell cost. So that is, yeah, quite a lot of. MP I was saving and I managed to like just get a rhythm in to get the constantly restoring my health up by this way. I could get a fucking book for what's her face? No, I'll do that. So a point yeah, I'm just rushing along to Sky Haven. Yeah, what well, what where's the um all the Oh I I I, I kind of killed that dragon already. I was out in one of my hunts to get fine things to smack in the face with a, what was it what I was using at the time? A bow? Yeah, and I was looking for things to kill and Alduino's here and um, Vuljunuknik, Vuljunuknik, Vuljunik, Vuljunik or something like that, yeah that's roughly what his name is. 
he popped out of that grave and I shot in the face with arrows until he died. <sighs> oh yeah, I have the ability to walk over traps now. Um, alchemy, I am waiting until I get to Black Beach to power level that. Oh dear fucking sweet gods. Yay! Oh, there goes Barbie. Then Barbie is the only one I want to get rid of because he's prohibiting my st uh, stealth abilities. I can't raise my stealth abilities while Barbie is there because he detects you, which means you don't get your stealth increases. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. As such, you can still get stealth from. Enemies, but when you're trying to increase your pickpocket, you lose your chance to pickpocket things. Well, your chance to pickpocket things is dependent on how hidden you are. If you're fully hidden, you get the best chance to get your pickpocket things. And because Barbus detects you, you lose quite a bit of that chance around half of the chance. So it's not 50% off, it's half of it. So if you had 60% chance, you'd have about 30% chance. Oh, see if a cat wants a hug. Too easy, is it's just like bang, bang, dead. If you've got a great sword, you can just smash down on a power attack as he flies at you. And I've done this before, they can run up to you and jump, and there's. There jumped, I swung greatsword down and hit him at the right time so he just flies right by me dead. It's fucking hilarious. Oh yeah, Hulty, Hulty Early Beard is just down here. The in the Ultra Odin. The ghost of Ultra Odin is Hulty Early Beard's companion in the battle that happened at Ultra Odin. Hulty Early Beard is the original name of Tiber Septim, who became Talos. So yes, the god Talos, uh, who used to be called Tiber Septim, who was the emperor or first emperor of the empire, really, because the empire did not exist as a multi-nation empire. Until your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. Just piss off. Nice try. I'm not gonna ask again. Then I guess that's your last request, fool. Wow, Barbie. Yeah, you did some. You just like pounced that fucker to death. Now, I'm not using my alteration spells, like the shields or whatever, because I don't need them right now. But when I'm training up my heavy armor skill, casting those spells doesn't matter because it helps you absorb the damage. They'll stay out in the battle longer. Yeah, that's Ultra Olden up there. Uh, yeah, the, and that's where Time Receptum stayed. At the time, it was known as Yolte Early Beard. It's a little bit trivia for you. Tiber Septon was once called Yolte Early Beard. But the thing is that the ghost mentions that Yolte, aka Tiber Septon, trained with him in High Rock with the Swordmasters. Under the Swordmasters, rather. There should be a dragon about here. There usually is one man getting for this part of the mission. Oh, hello! You're not a dragon, but you do have some pelts I can use. Yep, there he is. I told you, there's usually a dragon when you get to this part of the mission. 
for the blades go to Skyhaven and you get here this bridge there's usually a dragon. What is it, an ancient? Kinda looks like an ancient dragon. A revered dragon. Yeah, how's that? I got you in the tail, dickwad. Oh, a revered dragon. They're only high level, man. I'm level 63, so it's pro Oh, that is the exact area where they become available, is level 63. That shit doesn't work in me, dude. I don't have a soul you can trap. What the fuck kind of hokey flying is that? Come on! This is actually awesome. It's been a while since I fought a revered dragon. Other than the ones at the lake. He's probably fighting Barbus. Will you stop getting further and further away? Well, look was my arrow. Come on, dude! Over here! Yeah! No, no, no. Come on, stop flying all the way over there. My spell will run out before he gets over here. Well, the old magic is regenerated anyway. Dude, will you stop going further and further away? That must have caught him as he dropped, jumped up. It wasn't intentional, like, I should have shot a bit lower. But. Dude, will you fucking come here? You realise that spell came out your belly and not your. Barbus, will you fucking come here and stop drawing the rever revered dragon on me? Barbus, come here, you fucking moron! This is why I want you ready, Henry. I can't. Look, dude, it's nice that you're not focusing on me. But someone who doesn't use fire, yes, I don't want you focusing on me. Because you're using. What the fucking hell? Will you stop trying to soul track a. soul trap a Dejic fucking dog? Look, he's a fucking Dejic dog with the power of a Dejic prince. Could you stop trying to soul trap him and come here, you fucking moronic dragon? Can you not sense the power of the fucking Clavicus vile? How are you getting so far fucking away? I'm over here! Oh shit, my shouts, shouts are silent. Will you come here, you fucking moron of a fucking dragon? I'm right here! Come fight me! I have put more damage in you than anybody, yet you're just ignoring me. In there. Yes, finally you landed. Where are you going? Who's fire ice spells at him? That's them grounded. You see when he did that animation there? Where he's like, Rrrr! that's when he's grounded. They do that every time. If they're in the air, they shake about. 
What the fuck was that? Look. That hurt. Soul Trap! You try Soul Trap! A fucking Dragonborn. Well, actually, I've been to it with National Too Bad there, but. Sorry to disappoint you. The only reason you did well there was because, you know, you weren't using exclusive flame spells. <sighs> Revere Dragon down. The legendary ones don't spawn probably at level 79. I got a ways to go before that. But however, like I said, I am at level 63. That is where they start spawning. Right. Stenvar, you weren't in it with your usual bow technique there. Usually I can't even stop you getting that bow out. <sighs> there's Delphine and Esbjorn. Esbjorn? Uh, not Esbjorn. I keep saying beer. Beer. Esbjorn is a town in Denmark. Esbjorn is a town in Denmark. Esbjorn is the fucking dude here. No, I've still got that quest to do, like for Fralia, to find a missing son. Avelstein. What's his name? Avelstein? Right, let's go. There shouldn't be anybody here. I think I cleared them out last night, but. Could I come back regularly to train the weapon skills, like killing other people around, including the Force Sworn in here? Make good targets? I think we're getting close. Let's keep moving. But have they respawned as part of this mission? That's the question. The cave should still have people on it. Oh no, there's people up there. Right, remember I've got a huge fucking magic resistance. As well as huge frost and huge... Air's burn just going ham out there. I could conjure an order lord just to make it even more fun. I'm warning you, back off. Yeah, you're nothing compared to my little blade here. Where are you? Come on, I've got plenty of stamina, bitch. Ah, you can stand here and do this all. In fact, it is, yes. Because you're now dead and I'm not. Oh, hello. It's nothing. Stop that. Look at this. I can bash five times per hour. She doesn't care if I got a shield, she just keeps hitting and it's like, fuck you, fuck you, right up your battle. Or rather not because you're so ugly, but shh. Look at this. Look at this LOD here. Look at all that damage you did to me, High Graven. I just whacked her right out. Um, take a, take that, nah, don't care about your dwarven mace. I can come back and get them at any time. Oh, Delphine. Uh, you a lot dealt with for the shit down here. I'm going to Xenifer, scroll dread zombies, some gold. Well, oh, dear. No, so you have to use a lot of finished another one back here. Okay. I've got several armor, force one armor sets at home as well. Let's keep moving. 
Onward to Skyhaven! Free all these Forsworn in the cave. Curse fire. Oh, man, awesome revered dragons. That make training fucking much easier. The they take so many hits. You're supposed to be hard. Not one hell of a fucking egg, I must say. What size of bird laid that? Yeah, Barbara, sure, next in the list we're getting rid of. Yeah, so after we do this bit in Skyhaven, I'll induct Stenvar into the blades. Right, for this puzzle, you've got to step on the Dragonborn symbols and walk around to get to there. Fuck that shit. Done! I just walk right over it and don't give a shit. <laughs> like, oh yeah, you hit me with a fireball, well done. <laughs> oh, yeah, that hurts so much. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Now, this is bit you cannot get into without Esbjorn here. For apparently, he has to tell you to use... Eh. Oh. How to use this blood symbol here. So you can't activate it until... Is burns you. Come on, we want to get Stenvar inducted. Hurry up. Here's the blood sea. Another yeah, you're next on the list, dude. No I can't stealth with you. Well, All this pushing and nudging, I can put up with that. You can actually put up with the pushing and nudging, right? But I'm trying to trade my stealth skills, and you're preventing that. Like, watch this. I'll just cut myself through this armored gauntlet, and nothing happens to my body. So this is a puzzle door from one of the ancient Nordic puzzle doors. And you got to match symbols up correctly. No In this case, it's a dragonborn symbol. That's bars right in, don't give a fuck. I wish you could set these alight, like, just get some light in here. But I know we've been here for centuries, so it would make sense to, you know, have lights everywhere. No, you should have dragon bane, yes. Unique Akaviri Sword, that allows you to do 40 points of extra damage to dragons. Which kind of, becomes kind of weirdly not needed, a uh, full set of blades armour, yes. I'm aware this is a heavy armour set for training it, probably. I wish I could get more sets of blade armour. No, I'll leave it at the side right now, but... Nothing beats my... Oh! They light it for you. Nice. Come on, Esbjorn. Tell us about Alduin's wall and how they used to shout called Dragon Rain to pull down Alduin. Yeah. yeah! It's amazing! Nobody can get access to this temple. There's giant fucking holes in the roof. But nobody can get in without going through that door. Yeah, 
giant hole in the roof, no one can get in. Giant hole in the roof, no one can get in because that door there is locked. No one could just get a rope and just shim the way they fucking down the rope into here. Totally. That would be out of the question. What do you think, Isburn? Look, here is your turn. This panel goes back to the beginning of time, when Alduin and the Dragon Cult ruled over the Skyrim. Here, the humans rebelled against their Dragon Overlord, legendary Dragon War. Alduin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. You see, here is fallen from the sky. The Nord Tom's masters of the voice are arrayed. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory, mythic symbol. He could when I... Yes, yes. This here um, comes from the mouths of the Nord Hills. This is the Akaviri symbol for Shadow. Wonder Woman here. But there's no way to know what Shadow has meant. And Feldir. You mean they used a shout Gormley. to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Oh yes, presumably something rather specific to Dragons, or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all the news. Of Alduin. Well, Alduin has a shout that only he can use. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it! You ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? Um, maybe it's might know. You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this. But it seems we have no choice. I have a feeling it'll be Mitchell. Anyway, I'll ask Armgear what he knows about the shout they used. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came crawling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos, guard you. Look here, in the third panel. The prophecy which brought the Akaviri to Tamriel in the first place, in search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctions. Now they need their ancient mission fulfilled, as the last Dragonborn contends with all the at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Delphi? You might learn something of our own history. Hello. What is it? So this is all the blades, two people? The Thalmor hunted us down, remember? It wasn't exactly great for recruitment. But we have a headquarters of a sort now. We will rebuild the blades. Someday. Maybe I can help you find your recruits. If you find anyone you think would make a good recruit, I can certainly take a look at them. Remember though, being a blade is a lifelong commitment. Their loyalty has to be with us once they're in. I brought someone to induct the blades. Are you sure? I'll need to ask them to take an oath to leave their old life behind and stay here from now on. Sure. Very well. He seems like a fighter to me. I'll give him the oath. If you find any more candidates, bring them here. I know them. Once yeah, so once he... I get three blades recruited. Ed's Baron will give you a mission to go kill a dragon, and it'll give me a special potion which will increase my damage to dragons by 25% permanently. So, yeah, once I get those three recruited, that'll be done and out of the way. But, yeah, that's been about 33 minutes, so next episode we'll go get Barbie here up to the roof of wax. And once that's done, We'll have to fucking hot foot it all the way back down to the cave and get rid of the best once and for all. And that'll be me free solo again and yeah, I can start power leveling my skills that I couldn't parallel before because Barbus was annoying. See you all in the next episode. Bye bye.